people, what it is, and welcome to a new video. Today, we're doing another design ranking, this time covering the iconic character from Mortal Kombat 2 and Mortal Kombat's most frequent jobber, Baraka. Now, for anyone who hasn't seen the previous videos, let's reiterate the rules. The first rule is that it'll only be taking designs from Mortal Kombat games, which means no comics, movies, or cartoons, and no other games that Baraka may have appeared in. The second rule is that I will not be taking any repeated or reused designs, which means no recreated classic costumes from the later games, even though I'm pretty sure Baraka doesn't have any, and no costumes from something like Armageddon, which just reuses outfits from previous games. The third rule is for Mortal Kombat 11 only, and its style will only be taking designs that are in the story mode, because Mortal Kombat 11 has a lot of designs that just aren't worth talking about. And the fourth and final rule is that there's going to be no Mortal Kombat Mobile. Why? Because it's Mortal Kombat Mobile. All right, without further ado, let's get into last place. At number 12, I actually have a design from the most recent Mortal Kombat game, Mortal Kombat 1, and it is his design that kind of looks like one of those Shaolin monk robes that like only goes on like one side of your body or whatever. Uh, yeah, that. And this design is not terrible or anything, but it's just not really a design that's really worth anything it's just kind of there and with a character like Baraka that doesn't have any sort of terrible designs those are the designs that you're gonna have to go with for last place because there's nothing that's just like appalling to see so when it comes to this uh, the big thing here is that none of the recolors uh, have the classic white and red color scheme that Baraka is known for and it's not like Baraka always has to have that color scheme for his outfits to look good there are multiple costumes later on in this list that do not have white or red but still look awesome and I just feel like for a design like this where it really has nothing unique about it the fact that it doesn't have those colors that stand out about Baraka it just kind of makes the whole design kind of fall flat and there's really nothing really unique about it there's nothing interesting about it it's literally just there so I'm gonna put it in last place at number 11, again from Mortal Kombat 1, I have his other alternate design. This one's a bit more unique, it has the helmet, but other than that, it's kind of just a standard Baraka design. The only thing that's unique about it is that helmet, but that thing is not really something that I want Baraka to wear all the time, and it's pretty much the only reason why this is above the other one, just because at least it has something that's unique about it, even though what that thing is that's unique about it. I don't really like for Baraka, but you know, at least there's something that stands out about it. Also, one of the recolors is in red and white, which I like because red and white Brock colors. So, you know, that's cool and all. And the, the, the helmet looks cool. Um, if we're not talking about like just Baraka as a character, what his standard design aspect should be like the helmet looks cool. Like it's a fine design, but you know, these are like, NPC sort of designs. This is what I didn't like a lot of from Mortal Kombat 11 because a lot of the designs in that game are just kind of like NPC feeling. Like it's just like, oh, this is a character you'd see in the background or something. And in Mortal Kombat 1, it, it almost got, it gets worse because of the art style of the game and it not being as like, I don't know, flashy, vibrant or whatever, modern, I guess, compared to Mortal Kombat 11. And so with that game, a lot of designs felt a bit more unique, whereas these ones, you know, it's got that like more practical, ancient sort of feel to it, which just makes them feel like more so NPCs and, you know, with the colors and stuff, it just, this game kind of struggles a bit in that aspect. And I think that's part of the reason why it's struggling so much right now is because none of the designs are really worth getting besides the ones that you have to pay for. Uh, but yeah, let's not turn this into a Mortal Kombat 1 rant. Uh, that's a video for another time, and that will be a video for another time, coming soon. But, uh, yeah, 11th place here is this design for Baraka. Moving on. At number 10, I have his Mortal Kombat 9 alternate design. Now, this design definitely does not feel like something Baraka would normally wear. Practically, like, in-universe, doesn't make sense for him to wear it. Yeah, probably. It's, you know, armored outfit. It makes him look a little scary. But in terms of just, like, how aesthetically Baraka normally looks, how people most often want him to look, this isn't really something people generally like. And it's not something that I like. And also, it's way, way over-designed. There's just too much going on in this outfit. 
and the colors are kind of whack with it mostly being like brownish, goldish, those sort of colors. Not really something that's fitting to Baraka because Baraka, you know, with his skin tone and just like the way he is, like already his design is very bland-ish, brownish, just desaturated colors. So when you give him even more outfits and stuff that just kind of make it all blend together, it kind of doesn't look good. And it makes him just look like a standard Tarkatan rather than Baraka. And Baraka's supposed to have these flashy, you know, white, red colors that I've been talking about. And so when you don't have that, then he just looks like a normal Tarkatan and that's boring. So yeah, we have another design here pretty much just something that isn't really worth anything, just kind of a eh design for me. And actually, I think there's a big leap in quality here because I think the rest of the designs on this list are pretty dang good, but they're all sort of on a similar level, so it's kind of hard to rank them. Here at number nine, I have his Mortal Kombat 9 default design. I think this one is pretty good. It's a nice little classic reintroduction to Baraka's standard design and i think it did a really good job as does a lot of mortal kombat 9's designs at just like taking the classic design re-implementing it into a more modern setting with more modern detailing and all that stuff and making it look good and making it look like it fits in to the new universe that they've set up uh this one there's not really too much that's too like that, that, that like stands out about it i feel like some of the other designs coming up you know, that incorporate the classic elements. They bring something to the table that is new and that feels like fresh. Whereas this one, it's kind of just like standard Baraka and you know, it looks good in that aspect, but you know, just something a little bit more flair to it would be a bit nice. I also think the colors are a bit too desaturated. I would prefer the white and the red to be a bit brighter and a bit more just out there and uh, make make it like pop out a bit more and uh, stand out but uh, it's a good design i like this one for brock i also do like the metal things the the claws well, what are they what do you call them the blades right okay the blades i, I like the metal ones more than the bone ones i think baraka should have the metal blades Tarkatans should have the bone blades. Baraka is a Tarkatan, obviously, but like to stand out from the other Tarkatans, Baraka should have the metal blade because I just think that's cool. And so, yeah, here at number nine, Mortal Kombat 9. At number eight, I have his Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks design. This is another sort of redesign of that classic costume. And I think this one is just a little bit better than the Mortal Kombat 9 one, not by much, but I like the colors a bit more. I also like when Baraka has a bit more of like a unique monstrous face i don't really like when he's just like a bald dude with teeth like that's kind of boring i like it when like they have the wrinkles and the bones and stuff sticking out of his head i think that always looks really cool i also really like the loincloth i guess it would be called in this design i think it's nicely detailed and fits baraka a lot but other than that kind of basic not really much to it but you know simple can be pretty effective as well just as effective as like being really really detailed and designed but I feel like, you know, there are other designs later on, which I just feel like feel a bit more complete and put together. And so Shaolin Monks, really, really good, I think. But there's just better ones coming forward. And we're going to see them. And at number seven, we're at the one that started it all. Classic Nosferatu with nails plastered onto his teeth. Uh, yeah, Mortal Kombat 2. Baraka. Now, this design is obviously very iconic. Uh, I think this is actually a very underrated sort of head de design for Baraka. I feel like, you know, they've kind of fell away from like the classic like feel they were going for with Mortal Kombat 2. Obviously, Nosferatu being an inspiration, but also just like those dark pits that he has for eyes. I almost like it better than like the you know, the glowing yellow cat eyes that they usually go with now. I kind of like him just having like these dark, just empty eyes. It kind of makes him a little bit more scary. And I also just, I love how like big his head is. Obviously it was a mask. So his head isn't actually supposed to be that big, but because it was a mask put over someone's actual head, it looks a bit bigger, but I kind of like that at the same time. And, you know, I think this is just kind of underrated 
uh, an underrated design for Baraka. Usually everyone's raving about how great the classic designs are. And I feel like Baraka is just one of those characters who kind of gets left behind in that praise. I feel like people don't, in general, just like talk about Baraka's designs. But he can have some pretty good ones. And I think Mortal Kombat 2, super, super underrated. And people should talk about it more. Obviously, this is sort of the design that inspired everything that came after or most things that came after some of the ones we've already talked about in this video and i think this one definitely one of the better ones when it comes to just that classic baraka with the white and the red sort of i don't know if it's a robe or a gi or whatever you'd call it i think this one might be the best one out of all of them uh i feel like this is the last sort of like classic classic baraka design that we have i might be wrong there though oh yeah there's one more that's sort of going for the classic Baraka design, which I like a little bit better. But I think this one, really, really good. I think runner-up. At number six, I have his Mortal Kombat 11 design. Now, this Baraka is a little bit iconic. I feel like this was really a resurgence of the character for a lot of people. Obviously, after missing out on MKX, because people were all complaining, oh, he's just a jobber, he doesn't deserve to take up a roster slot. And then I remember in that reveal, from Mortal Kombat 11 when he was shown off to the world for the first time everyone was screaming raving oh my god Barack is back it was a really cool sight to see back then in I think 2019 so yeah I mean this design is just iconic for that reason but also it's just a good design on its own it sort of inc incorporates the uh, classic Baraka feel but I feel like for the most part a lot of it is sort of new stuff and uh, this Baraka feels very stocky and bulky i'm not sure if i prefer that but it definitely makes for a more unique design choice his head is a bit more round i like the way the teeth are you know usually they're a bit more open i guess i don't know really how to, how to describe it but they're a bit more wide this one is a bit more compact and the teeth like feel a bit more smaller but more jagged and more sharp i kind of like that um you know this design it's just a solid baraka design you know, it's just a solid design in general uh, for MK11. I think it's one of MK11's lesser over-designed designs because I feel like MK11 has a lot of designs that are just too much. And I feel like this design kind of nails it, gets it on point for what Mortal Kombat design should be in the modern age. Where it's, you know, it's clear that it's more detailed compared to previous games, but it's not like you're just showing off like you're just putting a bunch of stuff on there just to show off hey we can put a bunch of stuff on here and make it look super cool and detailed or whatever you don't need to do that like keep it simpler but you know just add a few things that make it more immersive i guess and i feel like this design just does a really good job at striking that balance so Mortal Kombat 11, number six. Getting into the top five, we're starting to hit some more unique Baraka designs that aren't just like the red and the white and all that stuff. Here we have his Mortal Kombat 4 design. Now this one, I think this was the first design for Baraka. Well, it was only like a second design, but this was the first one that kind of just changed things up uh, by a lot. This design, pretty much nothing like his original one, besides obviously for his face and the claws and stuff. But, you know, in terms of basically everything else, it's a completely different design. Now, from what I've seen, people generally aren't a fan of this design because of the thing that I will criticize it for. And it's the fact that he has like these giant staples across his body, like on his chest and also on his head, which is like the worst part. And yeah, I definitely agree. Those are kind of stupid looking. But for most people, that's enough to ruin the design for them. For me, I think this is a pretty good design. Just without uh, acknowledging the staples and stuff. Uh, I really like the shoulder. I don't know what you'd call it. Like it's this, it goes across his collar and his shoulders and stuff. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I sort of like it. Uh, I don't really know why. Uh, I like how it's blue. Uh, I like how that contrasts with his red pants and his pants look great. Obviously, that's kind of like the main design aspect that he has here. Uh, the main parts that's detailed because uh, he's mostly shirtless uh, for this design. Uh, besides, obviously, for that thing on his upper body that I don't know what it's called. So someone's probably going to correct me in the comments. But yeah, I like that. I like the pants. And I just like this design. I think, I think it just like all 
comes together very nicely but obviously there are a few designs that i like a little bit more because they're i feel like they're more representative of baraka and they just feel more complete as baraka design specifically i like this one but if i was thinking of a definitive baraka it wouldn't be this and number four i have the mortal kombat versus dc universe baraka design now this one i like it uh, I think this is another sort of armored Baraka designs, which we have a few of on this list. And I think this one is one of the better ones. I think uh, it just, you know, it has sort of that samurai feel, which I don't really associate Baraka with samurai, but I feel like just for his character, it kind of fits in a weird way. And so I like how the armor comes together. Obviously, his face and stuff is very similar to Mortal Kombat 9 because Mortal Kombat 9 took a lot of stuff from DC Universe in terms of just assets and character models and stuff like that and so you know in terms of that it, it gets a little repetitive feeling and it feels a bit like a rehash not obviously that that's not mortal kombat versus dc universe's fault but uh i feel like it falls more on dc universe just because mortal kombat 9 was so much more popular that you're gonna be like um this looks like the mortal kombat 9 baraka instead of the other way around so uh, it's whatever, but uh, it's just something that I've noticed. And uh, other than that, great design. I don't really have too much to say on it. It's just, it, it's a good design, and I have it at number four. At number three, I have his Mortal Kombat X design. Another one that's kind of underrated, in my opinion, along with Mortal Kombat 4 and Mortal Kombat 2. Obviously, Baraka wasn't in Mortal Kombat X as a playable character, so I can understand more why this one would be underrated. But I feel like this one is just... A really cool looking design like specifically using that word cool like something about it just like it feels like that word embodied as a baraka design and uh, i feel like the armor looks really neat i like the sort of ropes i feel like they do get, get a bit excessive with like the ropes and stuff around his arms and i i don't really like that but uh, other than that i think this is a really really good design i think this is sort of peak baraka facial design or head design or whatever um there's one other design that might be a little bit better uh that we're going to talk about but uh this one's a really really great one too i like the eyes on this one it's not just the standard cat eyes it's like these pale uh no irises or whatever or no pupils whatever sort of design and i like that and um yeah and i like the bones and stuff sticking out of his face i like the way the mouth looks i like that they didn't give him lips like they did with melina thank god that they didn't do that but uh yeah i think this one just a good baraka design once again just a neat one there's not really much to talk about with baraka's designs because they it's not that they feel samey because there's obviously a lot of differences but you know it's just it's just baraka it's just baraka that's that's really all there is to it at number three, I have his Mortal Kombat Deception design. Now, this one is sort of similar to the Mortal Kombat X one. I feel like the Mortal Kombat X one is a sort of a more detailed version of this one. But as I said earlier, detail does not always equal a better design. And I feel like this is a good example of that because, you know, where that design added more things and added random stuff to that design to supposedly make it better uh, or more detailed more interesting whatever this one is just a better design using like what they already had instead of you know adding more stuff and just adding piling on top this design took just basic elements and just put them in a way put, put it all together in a way that just looks better uh, using different colors uh, different placements getting rid of certain aspects and I feel like it's just a better design because of it. Uh, the colors on this one are much more vibrant uh, with the blue and the red. And I like the head design on this one. I don't think I like it as much as the Mortal Kombat X one, but I like how the head looks on this one as well. This is when Baraka really started to, be, started to get like the crazy designs and the wrinkles and the bones and stuff on his head. And it looks really great. I remember, for whatever reason, I always remember that one, I don't know if it was the trailer, but uh, that one like cutscene or whatever of him fighting Melina, or I think he was fighting Melina. That that was what was happening, right? 
Melina and Brock are in the cutscene. I don't remember if they were fighting each other or fighting someone else, but they were there. And uh, I think Baraka was one of the main like selling points of the game. Uh, I think, yeah, he had like a cover um, or one of the covers. One of them was Onaga. One of them was Baraka. And so, you know, that just makes it clear how good this design was because people were able to see a classic character brought to life uh, in this new version of Mortal Kombat. And people were like, oh, wow, Baraka. I remember him. He looks awesome now. And that's a good thing. And so Deception, I don't know if they sold solely because of Baraka, but they sold well, possibly because of how cool Baraka looked. So that's good. Uh, yeah, I think that's just a testament to how good this design really is. And I feel like Baraka designs in general, just underrated, but this one I feel like is one that kind of gets its shine more often. And I, I like that. But at number two, I think his alternate design is a bit better because it has that classic Baraka feel while also adding a few elements that make it feel a bit more modern uh, at least to the time and so you know you have the red and white robe or the red and white gi whatever you want to call it and now you have shoulder pads and I think that looks really really good and you have the uh, deception face and the deception design the more monstrous version of Baraka in his almost classic design but his classic design, but like more modernized and more detailed. And I feel like it's just a better design because of it. And, you know, I think this is definitely the best reiteration of the classic Baraka design with the red and the white. And so I think this is just a design that very, very much stands out, pops out, and just comes together in a way that's just really, really awesome and really feels baraka e or whatever. And so, you know, I would almost say I prefer this Baraka design over my number one pick, which doesn't really make sense. But in terms of like, when I think of Baraka, what I would think of, I would probably think of this first. But my number one design, I feel like the graphics and the modernization of it and just how like good it looks graphically and how cool it is, honestly, I think it just barely beats it out in terms of just pure how much I like it aesthetically. So, you know, this might be the better better Baraka design solely as a Baraka inspired design, but in terms of just like as a design period and what I like, I guess we can just get to number one right now. My number one pick is the Mortal Kombat 1 design. It's crazy how Mortal Kombat 1 has the two worst Baraka designs, but it has the best Baraka design, in my opinion, as well. I feel like this design brought it back to the roots of that Nosferatu mask really, really well. And, you know, I remember when I saw this design for the first time, I was like, Baraka's face looks different from how it did in, like, Mortal Kombat 11, games before that. It looks... I don't know how to describe it, but it does give that more vamp... Vampire, vampire-ish, vampirish, vamp, vamp, vamp. It gives a vampire feel that Nosferatu obviously had, and that inspired the Mortal Kombat 2 Baraka mask. And I feel like it really just brought it back to its roots. And instead of being like the short, stocky, stubby Baraka we got in Mortal Kombat 11, he was more lanky. He was longer, and his design looked, or his uh, gameplay looked amazing. And uh, obviously, we're not talking about uh, gameplay here, but Baraka, like, when I just looked at this version of Baraka, I was like, that's a cool design, and I really, really like it, and uh, in terms of, like, his actual costume, uh, it's it's good. I feel like it does implement some classic Baraka designs and feels, but it also implements some of its own stuff that hadn't been done before that felt a bit more unique, and I feel like it just all came together for a really, really solid solid design and also Baraka design. And I feel like it just strikes that balance a little bit better than that Deception design, which I feel like was a better Baraka design than it was a regular design. And even though this one might not be a better Baraka design specifically, I feel like it just got that perfect balance of being a really, really good design, but also being a really, really good Baraka design at the same time. And also just the graphics of Mortal Kombat 1 elevate this to a whole new level 
And so I think I kind of have to put it at number one for Mortal Kombat 1. Yeah, awesome. Next character that I'll be doing, because that's it for this video. Obviously, I got the number one. Next character I'll be doing is the Blind Swordsman, Kenshi, because Mortal Kombat 1 finally gave him more than 10 designs, which means I can make a ranking video on him because I only cover characters that have at least 10 designs, at least for now. But uh, yeah, you guys let me know after Kenshi which characters I should do because, uh, you know, obviously I can just like look through the Mortal Kombat characters and see who has 10 designs and all that, but it would just be easier if you guys decided it for me. Plus, I would know what you guys would want to see and what would uh, make you guys happy. So definitely make sure let me know in the comments who you want to see after Kenshi and uh, in the future. Uh, and yeah, make sure to check out the links in the description to my merch store, my Mortal Kombat Retail podcast, my Twitter, and my Instagram. Also, give this video a like so that more people get to see it within YouTube's weird algorithm. And uh, make sure to subscribe, turn the notification bell. And with that being said, that's it for this video, my fellow oddities. I'll see you next time.